You can follow these instructions if you've purchased an iTronic and are installing either the Bluetooth with iPod or just the iPod unit by itself. This does not apply to just the iPod unit unless you want to get rid of your CD changer for some reason. This plug would have been plugged into the back of the CD changer. Simply unplug it and you're going to remove the fiber shell from the rest of the plug by pulling that little tab to the side and lifting it straight out. Then you're going to take the connection that we sent you, the little harness that came with the unit, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to pull it to the side and slide the little plastic body straight out. It won't work very good left-handed. There we go. Just pull it straight out. You can actually put the take the, the, the connection that came with the unit and you can put it to the side because you're not even going to use it. You just take the one that was previously in the CD changer, push it straight into the body until it clicks, and you're ready to go. Plug it into the iTronic, hook up the power, and it's ready to go. That's as simple as it is if you buy the Bluetooth with iPod connection or the iPod by itself.